Hey friends, tonight we are celebrating New Year's Eve here at Epcot. This is definitely one of the best places to be to bring in the new year. It is so much fun. All around World Showcase, they have these little parties and raves, a silent disco. So I cannot wait to actually show you guys. We're going to ride some rides, eat some food, drink some drinks, and have a happy new year. Anywho, let's go do this. I am so excited for 2023. I had an amazing 2022 and I can only hope that the new year is going to be the same. And last year I actually came here to celebrate and it was like a non-stop party. I loved it so much. So I had to come back to do it this year again. One of my favorite things about celebrating at Epcot for New Year's Eve is how you get to actually bring in the new year multiple times a night because as you know, World Showcase has all the different pavilions from countries around the world and those time zones is when they celebrate. So like seven o'clock in the United Kingdom, you celebrate New Year's there. And then I think the uh, France is actually six hours ahead of us too. So you celebrate in France. And then of course at midnight, you have the grand celebration and it's this amazing fireworks show where they shoot off fireworks from every single country and it is astounding and I, like I said I'm just really happy to be here I'm not too sure if they're doing the same exact thing from last year but a couple of things that I remember is like the fire breathing dragon dance party in China and then they also had a silent disco in the United Kingdom which was really cool this really amazing techno like rave in Italy and each country has something else going on whether it's like a dance party or they have food and beverage items some special boots and it really is a good time but super crowded very 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 busy. Like I mentioned before, I had an amazing 2022. It was such a great year. I got to do so many cool things and travel to such unique places that I've never been before. And it's funny because I think I traveled more in 2022 than I have ever traveled in my whole entire life. Got to go to Las Vegas, New York, California, San Diego. Like it was so cool. And 2023 is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited the things that we have planned and the things that I'm gonna be doing. I cannot wait to share with you guys and I'm so happy that you guys were with me like I got to bring you along and show you guys all of my journeys and it's been great so like I said I hope 2023 is going to be just as good to me as uh, 2022 was. I plan on talking about some of my New Year's resolutions and things I want to improve for myself in 2023 a little bit later on in the video as we go around and celebrate. But like I said, I'm looking forward to it and thank you guys so much for being there. It's been great and it's going to be great. One of my New Year's resolutions is I want to switch up my look a little bit. I think I'm going to up my hat game and wear different types of hats. I like wearing the fedoras, but kind of want to add a little variety to it. In fact, it's the first time I think I've started off a video with a baseball cap in quite a long time. So uh, that's something I got looking forward to. And I'll still wear the fedora, just I think I'm going to be doing different things at the same time. And a new year with an old friend. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You're uh, heading to Magic Kingdom, right? I'm heading to Magic Kingdom. I have my appropriate shirt on. Very nice. I'm always confused. Is it Happy New Year? Is it New Year 22 or is it New Year 23? It's, um, it's always on the cusp. Yeah. I say 22 into 23. I always say Happy New Year's. All right, well, what year do you say it is? I, I say 2023 because we're in the future. We're going to be. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the future. New year, and I think the next time I'll see you is probably next year, so I'll see, I'll you, see next, you next year. I'll see you next year. <laughs> I'll see you next year, Nate. See ya. <laughs> It's really nice to run into friends and it was good to see Adam on New Year's Eve. In fact, we're going to be seeing lots of friends tonight. We're actually going to head on over to the Swan Reserve real quick because that's where all of us are staying. All my friends and everyone is staying at the Swan Reserve because if you do plan on coming to Epcot on New Year's Eve, know a couple of important details. Like number one, you know, lots of people are going to be drinking so you don't want to be driving and it's almost impossible to Uber out of here. It gets so backed up 
stuff like ubers just aren't available so their best bet is to stay on property or find someone that's gonna pick you up and drop you off because even if you do drive and you don't drink it's almost impossible to get out of there because the crowds are all leaving right at 12 o'clock Luckily, there's a lot of resorts that are walking distance to Epcot, and that includes the Swan uh, Reserve here. And then you got Boardwalk and Yacht Club, a lot of good places that you could just easily walk home. You don't have to worry about Disney transportation because that's going to be super busy too. So we're going to get all together and then make our way back over to Epcot. Most of the festivities start like at night. Once the lights go off, like you know what I mean, that's when the parties will start. But we do got to make it there for 7 o'clock for the UK. And I think France and Italy, they start celebrating at 6 p.m. because that's when it is uh, 2023 for them. Cheers to 2023! <laughs> Look at this view from outside the window. You can actually see a little bit of everything. Nice little sunset. A little blue at the moment, but I like it. Now it's time to make our way back to Epcot. We're walking from the Swan Reserve. It's so pretty here. Look at this. I love it. We have made it back to Epcot, and now I think we're gonna head straight to the Rosen Crown and get all settled in for seven o'clock, the new year in the United Kingdom. It is six o'clock right now. The silent disco starts at 7.05 back here at the United Kingdom Pavilion, and then they do their like celebration usually right here. So I think we're gonna head on in to uh, Rosen Crown because they do the special New Year's Eve fireworks show at midnight tonight, or I think it starts at like 11.45, they do uh, the regular fireworks at 6.30. So between now and 7.05, we're gonna do regular fireworks and then celebrate 2023 here in the UK. All right, we made our way into Rosen Crown. Gotta find a spot at the bar. Hop in like Appletini. <laughs> I would say the Rosen Crown is a little bit busy right now. Who? Who's the that? Rosen Crown, I would say. <laughs> it's busy in there. I don't think so. No, I no? I think it's a nice night at like, you know, your local Applebee's kind of nice. Applebee's? Yeah. Oh, good to know. I thought it was leaking. <laughs> I a big I just seen it! It is leaking! We're getting really close to everyone. Sorry. Maria has her ear. She needs a shot. Oh, oh boy. This is very close. We have successfully gotten a drink from the Rosa Crown, and now it is five minutes till seven. Everybody is gathering around in the United Kingdom Pavilion, ready to celebrate. Right? Only five more minutes. 2023. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is where everyone is at and the line is forming for the silent DJ too. Usually it's a long line because they only have a certain amount of headphones but uh, pretty sure most of uh, the United Kingdom like cast members will come out, bring out the flag and usually do a little ceremony if they can. But right now I don't know because it looks too crowded. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it this year actually. Uh, <laughs> Now the silent disco is officially open. Look at it. It's turning into the party. We've already broken in the new year once tonight. It's so funny. I literally almost missed the countdown. I think I actually did miss the countdown because we're all just hanging out here and a lot of people were just talking and all of a sudden they just started counting like 10, 9, and I'm like scrambling to grab my camera. I actually threw my phone on the ground, but I did catch the tail end of it in the celebration. And now it's time for the silent disco. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hi. Thank you. Baby Part of USA, we out here. We got two channels, red and blue tonight. All right. It's already up. All right. All right. Good time. Exits on the far side. I'm excited. 
in case you weren't aware of what a silent disco is, it's where everyone wears headphones and you only hear the music in your ears. So everyone is just like dancing around and grinding and grooving, but without the music. And it's it's hysterical. But this is like what you would hear, but what like nobody else can hear. Let's go over here. There's so much room. What? really funny because there's two different like DJs going on so like red is listening to a different song than blue and you can switch them like on your headset itself but that's why you can hear different people singing and it's really fun When you're done, you drop them off so they can get sanitized. Back, I'm back. back. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right, it's enough of the silent disco. It's time to move along, and I think we're gonna make our way towards France. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh. Mr. Mora. Is he gonna finish it? Wow. That's impressive. Bada boom. Woo! All right, we're moving out. We're moving. We're leaving the UK. I love how they have the people directing traffic. So it's kind of like this way and then that way. And you can see all the parties happening. Japan looks lit over there. A bunch of strobe lights happening. You can see Italy. It's such a good time. I ran into some friends who got the special New Year's drink in France. Look at it, Grand Marnay. It's awesome. Is it good? It's yeah, it tastes like. Now, how much was it? Twenty-one dollars. Twenty-one dollars! Holy moly! It's, good. it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Now we're gonna make our way and we're going right through France. They don't have a special DJ, but they just had those special drinks that I showed you. And now it's time to make our way into Japan. And that looks like so much fun. Like you could see it from across the water and you're just like, I wanna go to there. Wow, look at Japan, it's crazy over here.
making our way in America and then Italy. They're both good times. So this is so much fun. I love it. <laughs> Japan was a real good time. Lots of like cool music and lights, but now we're heading to Italy. They used to have something here in America. It was like salsa dancing, but I guess they're not doing it this year. And the next big thing is Italy. And you can literally see like the party happening like as you get closer to it. It's pretty impressive. Look at this. Look at, you can see just from the side here. Oh, it looks like so much fun. I can't wait to get in there. Oh boy, look at this. Here we go. It's a lot of fire. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Zambuca. Oh, that burns. What the hell is that? <laughs> that is so good. Wait, you gotta take it though. Wow. I'm trying. I'm sorry ahead of time. I'm sorry. I'm going to have We're going to China. Let's go to China. I'll go to China. I know. I know. I, know. I, know. I believe you guys can finish those. Woo! <laughs> Moving along, we're going from Italy over to China, and this is where the next like DJ dance party is. We just had shots of Zambuca, which is amazing. Hey, Happy New Year! <laughs> I think she's sick, but I wish. Uh, hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. <laughs> You're in love with me. Oh, we're going in there. Come on. Yes! One, two, three, jump!
have successfully made it basically all the way around World Showcase. And we're gonna head back to the silent disco at the United Kingdom because I really do love it over there. It's such a good time. And then we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna watch the fireworks from because that's like the big deal. The countdown to midnight is where, you know what I mean? That's what counts. the fireworks behind the Rosen crown. That spot, that's, that's the spot. That's the way. That's what we're that's what we're trying to do. I have a feeling everyone watching right now knows about it though. Yep, maybe next year. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> Can I get a heart? I think we're supposed to people to get a cheer in. Yeah. I think we're done. 2023 in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna try doing a fun little trick here. I hope it works. But I don't know. We're gonna try to put in the GoPro up here and see if we can catch the fireworks. Here in the United States, Canada, and Mexico, we should note that many of our World Showcase friends have already greeted the new year. At 10 a.m. this morning, 2023 reached the country of Japan. And one hour later, China celebrated the new year. Let's celebrate with them now. Let's go, China! At 
6 p.m., the countries of Italy, Norway, France, and Germany toasted the new year. Please join us in saluting our friends across the sea. Felice anno nuovo a tutti! Bonne année à tous
And with that, I think we are done here tonight. We're back at the Swan Reserve and it was an amazing night. I had so much fun just going around, partying in the different countries and pavilions and just breaking in the new year. 2023 is going to be like amazing. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.